Hey everyone, I'm Truthman from Overclicking TV and I'm here with Cody Vivi from South Africa. Hey man. Hey, what's up? Doing great. How are you doing? Oh, awesome. I um, finished my MOA testing and we're all just waiting for Friday. <laughs> so actually we're doing this interview on Tuesday evening, but that will be released during the show this Saturday. So when you when you guys going to see this video is actually the, the competition is over and all the scores are over. So we will be talking about the final scores here, not the, the official scores that are uh, up on this time on Tuesday. So, um, so Vivi, just present yourself uh, a little bit. Who are you? We know you live in uh, South Africa, but tell us a bit more about you. Well, um, I'm currently just working. Obviously, overclocking is a huge passion of mine. I've been at every MOA for a while and would really like to be at the next one and trying my best to get there. So, Actually, um. why do you compete in MOA? What is the, the, the purpose for that? Well, uh, because overclocking is our hobby and our sport, we, we just love anything, any competition relating to it, to show your skills, show um, last year's MOA I came sixth or something and I just feel like I really would like to do better this time, so I'm just back f to fight again. <laughs> back to the battle. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, how did you prepare for the, for the qualification of Class A EMEA? Well, <laughs> Class A this year was quite tough because um, you need expensive hardware and uh, really good CPUs and really great overclockers in EMEA or EAM, yeah, EMEA. And um, if you don't have a 6.5 CPU, you might not make top six. So it's really tight this year. Um, for preparations, I just used, I think, 150 liters liquid nitrogen overall. Just learn the graphics card, learn the CPU, learn the motherboard, lots of testing, weeks of testing, and then. Yeah, I just dropped the scores in the last few weekends. Did you did you actually test a lot of hardware? Um, no, mm, no, I already had a, a James CPU. Um, so the CPU was sorted. I bought one graphics card from Gunslinger. He, he sold four, and I just said, please, can I get the best one? And it just happened to be a totally awesome card. So huge thanks to Gunslinger for that. I'll see him at MIA and buy him a beer or something. <laughs> Because actually, there's almost no chance that you're gonna fall off the top six. We are Tuesday when we do this interview, but um, <laughs> but one of my questions <laughs> is: Are you sandbagging? So that means, are you gonna be releasing scores just before the end of the qualification? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. I wasn't. I thought you know my current scores are fine. I was a little bit depressed because I uh, killed one of my memory sticks, but by my own fault. So. Um, I thought, you know, I'm, I'll probably qualify, so I leave my scores, but then uh, I just decided to try once more, and I did two really nice runs. It's currently the world records. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be on Friday, so... My the, coffee, so so, coffee so you mean you have a world record, so that's either 3 Mark O3 or Uni Jan Yevon? It's both. Um, so for, you were beating Zuzulio's scores? Yes, both of them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, that's why it's so fun at MOA because we, all of us overclockers, like a month before the time, we, we talk, everybody talks, share scores, share, share efficiencies, share tweaks, and then one week before the end, no one talks to anybody. It's just quiet because we all know you, you know, need to keep your scores. And, and yeah, it was just two really great runs and I have two, yeah, I beat the world record by quite a bit. So we'll see. I, I'm pretty sure someone might beat me even because Moose, is trying way too hard for my liking, so he <laughs> might beat me, but yeah, Friday will tell. I, I know that although the French guy are actually uh, tr spending a lot of time right now, oh, yeah. that just before the end of the, the competitions to the, the qualifications to get some good scores out. Uh, well, so you're going to be some begging, that's going to be very interesting. And um, what are your expectations in terms of scores and ranking in the end for the qualification? Well, for myself, I'm thinking I would like to end first, but maybe first or second. But I don't know about if I get to third, then there will be some epic sandbagging by someone. But I'm pretty confident in the scores I have at the moment. Uh, but I'm really I'm more interested in actually in seeing fifth and sixth because I know four really great scores already from four overclockers. So fifth and sixth is going to actually be a very tight spot to to get. So that's actually quite interesting to 
to know some of the scores that's gonna be going out, yeah, but yeah. without knowing exactly which one they are. You know that they are great, but you don't know exactly where yeah, they're gonna yeah, rank. Yeah. yeah, everybody has a big smile on their face when I talk to them, so <laughs> everyone has some score, I just don't know what. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. I love it. Uh, well, uh, Vivi, thank you very much for for your time for this interview. I know it was uh, cool. quite late for you uh, doing it uh, at uh, this don't time. Worry. Um, and we hope to uh, to see you. Of course, we will see you in the final later this year. Cool. I really enjoyed. I'll see you all there. <laughs> Thanks. Bye bye. Cool. Bye.